So welcome back to ATVB 2013. It's uh, Thursday night and we're getting ready for our uh, council dinner tonight. But we have one more very exciting session tomorrow morning, which is our invited lecture series. And uh, I'm happy to be here uh, tonight with Dr. Marlene Rabinowitz from uh, Stanford University, who will be delivering the ATVB keynote lecture tomorrow morning at that session. Uh, and uh, you've just arrived in town. I think you're really yeah. going to enjoy the, uh, the meeting tomorrow. Um, uh, is there any kind of preview you can give us for uh, what you'll be talking about well, tomorrow? First, Steve, thanks so much for the invitation. It's a great honor, and uh, I'm really overwhelmed by the tribute. So uh, thanks very much again. Great to have you here. Um, I can give you a bit of a preview. What I'd like to do is tell the group a little bit about the developments uh, in our laboratory that have led to new emerging treatments for pulmonary hypertension, uh, and then to show how these treatments might have broader impact and importance in uh, other vascular pathologies that are much more common than pulmonary hypertension and also show how identification of a gene uh, that is mutant in familial forms of pulmonary hypertension has really provided new insights into these pathways. Uh, and uh, recently it's been described that that same mutant gene can make atherosclerosis much more severe in an animal model. Uh, so I think there'll be a lot of connections between the disease that we study that is more rare, pulmonary hypertension, and uh, the broader range of vascular pathology that your audience uh, yeah. deals I, with. I think we've already seen uh, several examples of that in this meeting so far this week where uh, uh, insights gained from studying a rare disease, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a less common disease, is really quite relevant to vascular biology and other disease types. And one of the nice things about ATVB is it brings together people from, from these different fields. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it, it shows how the molecular insights can be transferred. Mm -hmm. I also think the focus on the pulmonary vasculature is interesting because uh, not only is it important for pulmonary hypertension, but uh, the pulmonary vascular bed is, is very interesting developmentally and, and uh, has been understudied over the years. Absolutely, and uh, the disease that we study, pulmonary hypertension, is devastating. As you know, uh, it's diagnosed usually very late uh, because the vascular pathology is really quite advanced in many patients. By the time they become symptomatic or at least come to the attention of physicians that think about the disease. So I think uh, a lot of groups, such as the Pulmonary Hypertension Association, have increased awareness of this disease. Uh, but um, it also is one in which we're really very much trying to make uh, new inroads because of uh, uh, the severity and because it affects young people, primarily women, in uh, uh, the prime of their life. Yeah, as a, as a hematologist that's interested in thrombosis, mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes see patients that have a thromboembolic form of pulmonary Correct. hypertension and also mm -hmm. get, get into discussions sometimes about the role of uh, clotting factors and anticoagulants in the management of the disease uh, yeah. more broadly. And that's still very controversial, as you know, because uh, I think uh, another new frontier is really under, better understanding uh, thrombotic and thromboembolic uh, phenomena and the pathobiology of pulmonary hypertension. That for sure has been understudied. Yeah. Uh, there are patients with thromboembolic disease that do very well after thrombo and arterectomy, but as you know, there are others uh, that appear to uh, not develop a reversal of their pulmonary hypertension. In fact, the disease progresses just exactly. as it does in the idiopathic forms. So. Yes. Well, this this will be a fantastic presentation, I'm sure, and hopefully it'll see ideas for some of the young investigators here at the meeting to take on some of these challenges. So wow. again, thanks for coming and we look forward to your I talk I look forward tomorrow. to it as well. Thanks very much, Steve. Yeah.